wages. Dave, you know, you mentioned uh, uh, payday loans, not, and that's, I guess, maybe unfortunate that that's very, very popular. So uh, we get a lot of people that come in and they're essentially being garnished. Uh, there hasn't been a lawsuit that's been filed, but uh, they borrow whatever amount of money and that is coming out of their paycheck yeah. uh, voluntarily. So um, is, is there, do you have to wait for the, to file the bankruptcy to take care of that or what can you do? Well, unfortunately when someone visits a payday loan store or a title loan store, they're in a situation where they've exhausted, typically exhausted, mm -hmm. all other forms of credit. So there's no more room on the credit card, they can't get a traditional loan from a bank, they can't get an equity line, there is no more money. They can't borrow from family or friends, they're at the last resort. And they go to these stores that will give them money in exchange for repayment of that money at a premium. Huge premium. Yeah, anywhere from 100% to 500% or anywhere in between. And what happens is the people typically can't make that loan repayment back and they'll roll the payday loan over to another week, to another cycle. And it continues and to build up. the fees. So when you get into that situation as a consumer, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to come into some money and be able to pay it off, or more likely than not, you're going to fall deeper into debt and eventually have to file a bankruptcy to just wipe the slate clean. But you want to file that as soon as possible once you're in that terrible situation of owing payday loans. Uh, at, at that point, you're already at uh, the, the, the panic mode. Right. So you really need help. You need to talk to a professional to find out what your rights are at that point.